Now, a controversial Dutch MP whose party is currently leading many of the polls says he wants to bring down the European Union. Geert Wilders, the leader of the Party for Freedom in the Netherlands, said he'd pull his country out of the EU and he's warning migrants from Eastern Europe they should stay at home. Well, he's been speaking to our Europe editor, Gavin Hewitt. Here in Brussels, in the months ahead, European officials are likely to turn their fire on Geert Wilders. The Dutch politician is controversial, a maverick, anti-immigration, anti-Islam and very Eurosceptic, and currently ahead in most of the polls. Ahead of the European elections in May, he has formed an alliance with Marine Le Pen, the leader of the far-right National Front in France. When I sat down with Geert Wilders in The Hague, it was clear he would like to weaken the EU from the inside. I believe that um, we have very few things to benefit from the European Union. Um, I believe that the a growing amount of voters feel that we pay a lot of money to Europe, but that at the end of the day, we are not in charge of our own laws, of our own borders, of our own money, of our own budget, and people want to change that. You say you want to fight the monster in Brussels. Do you want to bring down the European Union? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, um, I do in a way that I would like the Netherlands to leave the European Union. But how realistic is all of this? I mean, do you really expect Europe to go back to a time when they're controlling their own border, their own economies, their own currencies? I mean, that's not going to happen, is it? Well, I'm more positive than that. I believe that parties like mine, uh, but also in many other parties, would, uh, can become maybe the number one or number two or the biggest party in the European elections uh, next May. Let's talk uh, about uh, immigration. From January, Bulgarians and Romanians will be able to travel and work anywhere within the European Union. What is your message to those countries? Well, my message to those countries is um, stay home. Um, I do not um, say to those people that I do not understand that they wish to come to Western Europe. I don't even blame them. I blame our own governments. People are getting unemployed and at the same time we allow people from Romania and Bulgaria to come to the Netherlands um, and take our jobs, take, make use of our social security. And I think it's, it's, it's a crazy, a really crazy thing to do. You have said that Islam is not compatible with the Western way of life. But haven't Muslim communities become part of the European way of life? Well, indeed, I believe that Islam is an inferior culture. I'm talking about the ideology here, not about the people. I know that a lot of Muslims are law-abiding people who have, whose concern is um, to have a good life, a good education for their children, and a good job, and I have nothing against them. Do you feel a personal responsibility not to stoke up tensions that could or, or might lead to a, uh, an atmosphere that you would find difficult to control? But um, I don't believe I've ever done anything um, coming close to that. Um, a responsible politician, I believe, never stirs up any problems in there any society. There are plenty of people who, are say, who will say that in some of your comments you do stoke up tensions between but, but, communities. Well, you ask what my intention is. I can only give you an honest answer uh, from Geert Wilders. I'm not speaking on behalf of anybody else. And my answer, my honest answer to you is no, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm far, far, staying far away from anything that has to do from stirring up anything. Europe's leaders are ruffled enough to warn that these anti-establishment parties could tear up much of what has been achieved in 50 years of European integration. Some are saying that the early months of 2014 will turn out to be a battle for the heart of Europe. Well, that was uh, our Europe editor, Gavin Hewitt, who was speaking to that controversial Dutch MP, Geert Wilders.